Hello friends, in this video we are going to study the further part for the Scott connection of 3 phase to 2 phase transformer. Sometimes the primary winding of the main transformer and teaser transformer can also be connected into 4 wire system. In case of 4 wire system, the position of neutral point N is very important. So let us study the position of neutral point. When the teaser transformer windings are connected in 3 phase 4 wire system, in that case the neutral point N is provided at the primary side of the teaser winding. So if you see in the figure, this is the primary winding of the teaser transformer. N is the neutral point which is provided in the primary winding. Hence, we can write the equations as now if you see here, the total winding AD is divided into two parts, AN plus ND. So first let us find out what is the voltage across AN. The voltage across the point AN is nothing but the phase voltage. Now as this is the three phase four wire system and the neutral is connected, this voltage will be VL divided by root 3. Further the equations can be written as, now if we consider the point AD, now if we consider the point AD, that is the total primary winding of the teaser transformer, then the voltage across AD can be written as VAD is equal to root 3 by 2 VL. This formula we have already derived. Now the total winding VAD comprises of two parts VAN and VND. So let us find the voltage for the part ND. VND is equal to VAD minus VAN. Substituting the values in this equation, we get VND is equal to root 3 by 2 VL minus VL by root 3. After simplifying this equation, we get the value of VND as VND is equal to root 3 multiplied by root 3 VL minus 2 VL divided by 2 root 3. Further simplifying this equation, we get VND is equal to 3 VL minus 2 VL divided by 2 root 3. After solving this equation, we get the value of VND as therefore VND is equal to VL divided by 2 root 3. Now in order to keep the voltage across the turns constant, we can write let the turns in the portion AN of the winding be equal to TAN. So the formula for TAN can be written as TAN is equal to TP divided by root 3. Further solving this equation, we get TAN is equal to 0.577 TP. Similarly, we can write the value for TAD as let the turns in portion AD is equal to TAD. Hence, the formula for TAD can be written as TAD is equal to root 3 by 2 into TP. Similarly, for portion ND, we can write the turns in portion ND is equal to TND. Hence, the formula for TND can be written as TND is equal to 1 divided by 2 root 3 TP. Further solving this equation, we get TND is equal to 0.288 TP. Now taking the ratio of TND to TAD we get. Now taking the ratio of TAN to TND we get. TAN divided by TND is equal to TP divided by root 3 divided by TP divided by 2 root 3. Further simplifying this equation we get. TAN by TND is equal to 2 root 3 divided by root 3. Root 3 root 3 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled. Hence finally we get the relation as TAN divided by TND is equal to 2. Further we can write this equation as TAN is equal to twice into TND. From this equation we can say that if we want the voltage constant in the turns then the N must be positioned at the two third of the total part of the winding. Also we can say that point N divides the winding of the teaser transformer in ratio 2 is to 1. Hence we can write An is to AD is equal to 2 is to 1. Now let us study the relationship between input and output currents. Let I1M is equal to current in the primary winding of the main transformer. I2M is the current in the secondary winding of the main transformer. I1T is the current in the primary winding of the teaser transformer. I2T is equal to current in the secondary winding of the teaser transformer. Now from figure we can write, if we see the diagram, I1T is nothing but IA, hence we can write, similarly I2M is equal to I2T is equal to I2. Now if we neglect the value of magnetizing current, then we can write the equation for MMF as I1T TAD is equal to I2T into TS. But we know that 
आई वन टी इज इक्वल टू आई ए एंड टी ए डी इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाई टू इंटू टी पी सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस टू वैल्यूज इन द अब इक्वेशन वी गेट देर फोर आई ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय रूट थ्री बाय टू इंटू टी पी इज इक्वल टू आई टू टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी एस नाउ रीअरेंजिंग दिस इक्वेशन सो दैट वी कैन गेट द फॉर्मूला फॉर आई ए वी गेट आई ए इज इक्वल टू टू डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री टी पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आई टू टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी एस फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट आई ए इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फिफ्टीन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आई टू टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी एस बाय टी पी बट वी नो दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रेशो इज गिवन बाय टी पी बाय टी एस इज इक्वल टू अल्फा इफ यू टेक द रेसी प्रोकॉल ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट टी एस बाय टी पी इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय अल्फा हेन्स सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन द इक्वेशन वी गेट आई ए इज इक्वल टू आई वन टी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आई टू टी डिवाइडेड बाय अल्फा नाउ द फर्दर इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज द फॉर्मूला फॉर आई टू टी इज गिवन बाय आई टू टी इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाय टू टी पी डिवाइडेड बाय टी एस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आई ए रिलेटेड बी इक्वेशन नंबर फॉर एम एम एफ बैलेंस कंडीशन द इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज आई बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी पी डिवाइडेड बाय टू माइनस आई सी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी पी डिवाइडेड बाय टू इज इक्वल टू आई टू एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आई एस टी पी डिवाइडेड बाय टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय आई बी माइनस आई सी इज इक्वल टू आई टू एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी एस फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन राइट आई बी माइनस आई सी इज इक्वल टू आई टू एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू इन टू टी एस डिवाइडेड बाय टी पी वी नो दैट टी एस बाय टी पी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन अल्फा हेन्स सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट आई बी माइनस आई सी इज इक्वल टू टू आई टू एम डिवाइडेड बाय अल्फा लेट इट बी इक्वेशन नंबर फोर फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन राइट द फॉर्मूला फॉर आई टू एम एज आई टू एम इज इक्वल टू अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय टू ब्रैकेट आई बी माइनस आई सी नाउ वी नो दैट द बैलेंस कंडीशन फॉर द करंट्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज आई ए प्लस आई बी प्लस आई सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो हेन्स फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर आई सी एज आई सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस आई ए माइनस आई बी सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ आई सी इन इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव वी गेट i2m टू एम इज इक्वल टू अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय टू ब्रैकेट आई बी माइनस ब्रैकेट माइनस आई ए माइनस आई बी फर्दर सॉल्विंग दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई टू एम एज आई टू एम इज इक्वल टू अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन साइड द ब्रैकेट आई बी प्लस आई ए प्लस आई बी नाउ हियर देर आर टू टर्म्स ऑफ आई बी सो वी कैन अगेन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन एज आई टू एम इज इक्वल टू अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन साइड द ब्रैकेट टू आई बी प्लस आई ए Now multiplying alpha by two with each term inside the bracket, we get i two m is equal to alpha divided by two multiplied by two i b plus alpha divided by two multiplied by i a. Here the two in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled. Hence again we can modify this equation as i two m is equal to alpha i b plus alpha divided by two into i a. Now we can again modify this equation as Let us take this term alpha i b in one side of equation and remaining two terms on the other side of equation. Alpha i b is equal to i two m minus alpha divided by two into i a. Now let us take the alpha on this side of equation. I b is equal to i two m divided by alpha minus alpha divided by two alpha into i a. Now alpha in the numerator and denominator of this term will get cancelled. Hence we can again write this equation as. i b is equal to i two m divided by alpha minus i a divided by two. Let it be equation number six. Substituting equation six in this equation, we get i c is equal to minus i a minus bracket i two m divided by alpha minus i a divided by two. Further simplifying this equation, we get i c is equal to minus i a minus i two m divided by alpha plus i a divided by two. Further modifying this equation, we get I C is equal to minus half I A minus half I C is equal to minus one by two I A minus I two M divided by alpha. Let it be equation number seven. In this way, we have found the equations for the currents at the secondary side of main transformer and teaser transformer, as well as at the primary side. From this, we can say that equation three and equation five. Gives the equation for the current where the three-phase supply is converted into two-phase supply. That is, these are the equations for the secondary winding of the main transformer and teaser transformer. Whereas, equation six and equation seven 
gives us the equation of the current if the two phase transformation is done into three phase. It is not mentioned whether the two phase is converted to three phase or three phase is converted to two phase. Hence, all these equations can be used for determining the value of currents. Now, let us study the balance load condition. We know that in case of balance load condition, I2M is equal to I2T is equal to I2. Let us consider I2T is the value of reference phasor. Hence, the polar form of the current I2T can be written as I2T is equal to I2 at an angle of 0 degree. Now, we know that the voltage V2M lags the voltage V2T by 90 degree. Hence, the current I2M will also lag the current I2D by 90 degree. So, we can write the equation of I2M as I2M is equal to I2 at an angle of minus 90 degree. Here, the symbol minus indicates that the power factor is lagging or the current is lagging. Now, let us convert this polar form into rectangular form. After conversion of polar form into rectangular form, we get I2M is equal to minus J multiplied by I2. Now, we know that the value of current IA is given by equation. IA is equal to I2 divided by alpha multiplied by 2 divided by root 3. Let us convert it into polar form. IA is equal to I2 divided by alpha multiplied by 2 divided by root 3 at an angle of 0 degree. Let it be equation number 2. Now we know that the value of 2 by root 3 can be written as IA is equal to 1.15 multiplied by I2 divided by alpha at an angle of 0 degree. Now we know that formula for IB can be written as IB is equal to minus half IA plus I2M divided by alpha. Substituting the value of IA in this equation we get IB is equal to minus half multiplied by 2 by root 3 multiplied by I2 at an angle of 0 degree plus I2M divided by alpha. Further simplifying this equation, we get IB is equal to minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 root 3 I2 divided by alpha at an angle of 0 degree plus I2M divided by alpha. Now from equation 1, now the value of I2M is given in this equation. So let us substitute this value. IB is equal to minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 divided by root 3 multiplied by I2 divided by alpha at an angle of 0 degree plus I2 at an angle of minus 90 degree divided by alpha. Further simplifying this equation, we get IB is equal to minus I2 divided by root 3 alpha at an angle of 0 degree plus I2 at an angle of minus 90 degree divided by alpha. Let us convert this polar form into rectangular form. IB is equal to 1 divided by alpha multiplied by I2 inside the bracket 0 0.577 minus J. Let us convert this rectangular form into polar form. IB is equal to 1 divided by alpha into I2 multiplied by 1.15 at an angle of minus 120 degree. We know that 1.15 is nothing but 2 divided by root 3. Hence, we can modify this equation as IB is equal to 2 divided by root 3 I2 divided by alpha at an angle of minus 120 degree. Let it be equation number 3. We know that equation for IC is given by, also IC is given by, IC is equal to minus 1 by 2 IA minus I2M divided by alpha. Substituting the value of IA and I2M in this equation, we get IC is equal to minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by root 3 I2 divided by alpha at an angle of 0 degree minus I2 at an angle of minus 90 degree. If we simplify this equation, we will get the value of IC as from equation 2, 3 and 4, it is seen that the magnitude of all the currents IA, IB and IC are equal. Only the phasor angle between them is different. Hence, if the two phase system is to be converted into three phase system, then at the output of the three phase system, we get the balanced three phase load. Now, let us consider if the three phase system is converted into two phase system. We know that mod of I2M is equal to mod of I2T is equal to I2. Let us consider the phasor diagram. This is the phasor diagram for the three phase balance system. If we see here, the voltage V2M that is the secondary voltage of the main transformer and the voltage V2T that is the secondary voltage of the teaser transformer is having the phase difference between them of the 90 degree. The voltage of the teaser transformer leads the voltage of the main transformer by 90 degree. The current I2T that is the secondary current of the teaser transformer lags the voltage at an angle phi. Similarly, current I2M that is the secondary current of the main transformer lags the voltage V2M by angle phi. 
Hence, we can write the equations as I2B is equal to I2C is equal to square root of I2M divided by alpha square plus 1 half I20T square. Similarly, the equation for IA can be written as mod of IA is equal to mod of I1T. In this way, the current equations can be formed for the balanced load. Similar calculations can be done for the unbalanced load. Let us see the phasor diagram for the unbalanced load. The figure shows the phasor diagram for the unbalanced load. If we see here, the voltage V2M, that is the voltage of the secondary winding of the main transformer, is lagging the voltage V2T, that is the voltage of the secondary winding of the teaser transformer. Similarly, the respective currents of the two transformers are shown. If we see here, the phase difference between V2T and I2T is different as compared to the phase difference between V2M and I2M. These are the phasor diagrams for the unbalanced load. In this way, we have studied the Scott connection of the transformer. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.